Hi folks, this is Susan back here with the second tutorial of turning a picture into a scroll saw pattern. In the first video you saw me take the basic picture and put it into a basic scroll saw pattern, but we have a ton of work to do from here. So I'm pulling back up the picture and on GIMP 21014 in order to expand or to zoom in and out, you have your minus button and your plus button on your keyboard. And I want to get very close and very detailed, so I'm going to have it pretty large on my screen. Over here, this is on the top, just to remind everyone, you can take the opacity down, do half and half, so you have the picture in the background. And then you have your scroll saw pattern on top, so you can switch back and forth, which we will do often. The first thing that I have to do, I'm going to pick a paintbrush. I'm going to pick a size pretty large down here of 55, let's say. And I want it to be white, because I'm going to get rid of this background, all these little dots that I don't need. So I'm going to get rid of all those here first. This is the easiest part to do. And what I suggest you do often is save so that all the work that you just did, if you make a big mistake and you can't just undo one thing, you won't have to redo everything. And one other step that I did that I did not show is I went up to filters, went down, I'm sorry, not filters. I went to colors, I went down to threshold, and I clicked on that threshold because I had some grays still on the camera, on the picture, and I wanted it to be all black and white to make it easier to um, adjust and fix. Okay, so I'm back here erasing, erasing. And once I clean this up, we will get into a lot of the detail. And I'll be fast forwarding through a lot of this or pausing so that you won't get too bored while I'm erasing a lot of the busyness of this picture that we do not need. Like there's a lot of busyness in here on the outfit or on her shirt. Okay, so I've got the background pretty cleaned up. Let me move way over here. Oh, we got this part right down here. And I'm going to get real close to her arm, but not quite erase everything. I'll take care of that a little bit later. All right. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this hair. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. bigger. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to add and um, zoom in a little bit more. So it's got a lot of details we really don't need on this. I'm going to go about half and half so I can see her background picture because I want to make sure that I'm not going to be distorting anything here. Whoops, let's go back down here. They did a pretty good job. The computer does a pretty good job at showing the angle of the hair. I am going to change it to black, go to a much smaller brush size, and you can see the aspect ratio and the angle are both set at zero because I don't want that to be changed. I want to have more control over that. And I'm going to add a better area on the outside to show the shape of her head and the hair. And I'm using the real picture so I'm not distorting anything here. And there's a little bit more up there. And I may go back and change this later, but for now, there's a lot right here too that we need to put in black. Now, I need to make that brush smaller than 10. And maybe even smaller than that. But you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm filling in a lot of the black. The most important thing to do is to make sure that almost all of the white is attached to each other so you don't have all these pieces 
except for maybe the very ends of them, like over here, that are hanging there. They all have to be attached. And you can see I'm going up here and I'm going back from black and white, black and white, black and white. And I'm going to be taking my time. I'm going to erase all these little dots that we don't need. And I'll do that when I've paused a little bit. Like this is what I mean by connecting all of the white parts. And then we'll have to connect it. And here's our, there's a nice little piece of hair right here that's got a really a nice highlight color in it. So I'm going to take that. I'll probably make it bigger. I don't like that. That's too big of a, let me erase that. I'm going to make it much smaller than that, like maybe a, a four. And I'm going to take it right from there and I'm going to follow her hair. And that's by no means complete. I'm just putting some basic shapes in here so I can go back and correct them later on. It's like this little piece right here. This can be connected for the white. All of these need to be connected down here. So these are pretty easy to do. This one will be connected. And if I don't like what I see, I can go back with black and change it. Or I can make a smaller, thinner white brush. Now this will be easy. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go down to a three. So that's a little bit more narrower. These I'm going to connect here because that would be an easy connect. So you can kind of see this was going to take a really long time to do, but it's going to be so worth it in the end. I'm going to make this go all the way through. You can see there's a little bit of highlight in her hair there. And I may take this down here too. And this up here. You don't want it to get too, I don't know how to describe it, liney. You want to make it a natural flow with her hair. This will work on a little bit later off camera. It's like that. I don't like that. It needs to be a little bit wider up there on top to make it look a little bit more natural. So that's how we're going to be doing the hair. And I want to pop over here and show you this top. This top is very busy how it changed. You could see it's pretty solid color and it's got some light colors in it and that's why it interpreted it that way. So I'm going to work with blocks. Like I'm going to put, let's go with black and I'm going to expand it to about, I don't know, 15. We'll see how that is. Yeah, and I'm going to color in. I'm going to make some of this all black. Again, following the pattern behind. It's wonderful that I have that to use. And I can shrink the paintbrush and make it a little bit smaller to do a little bit finer lines. Like when I get down here, I'm going to use a smaller paintbrush. But I don't want to do, and I'm taking the outside of her shirt too, keeping the frame of her body correct. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do off camera as well. The hardest and the most difficult part to get correct is the eyes. And I'm going to expand even more on this. I'm going to plus it up here. This is an important time to make sure that all the white parts are all going to be attached. I'm going to go back here to white. I'm going to go down to a small brush, like a two. And I'm going to connect the white down here. That's good there. I'm going to pull it here curving it to keep the shape of her eye but to keep that white spot well I might have done too much there let me correct that a little bit put a black in there there <clears throat> and we'll come back and fix this up a little bit too her eyebrow goes way out here so I'm going to go back to black and I'm going to pull the eyebrow to where it actually is and fill this in a little bit and get rid of that dot. We don't need those little white dots there. And I pull her eyebrow a little bit down here. Connecting the dots here. I'm going to go back to white. Connect the dots here. Keeping the shape of her eye. That's the most important thing. You do not want to distort the shape of her eye. And let's attach that little bit of white piece there. Okay, 
I'm going to go back up to opacity and see what that looks like. That little dot there needs to come out. Make that black. Of course, it's showing very jagged. But by the time we're all done, it will not be jagged. It will be nice and smooth. But this will give us our basic outline. Now let's go down to the nose and the mouth. And there's the nose. The nose doesn't look much like a nose when it's this close. It works a lot with shadows and you can see how it picked that shadow up right here. So I don't think there was hardly anything for the nostril over here. So I'm going to darken that in. I'm going to make sure that's here, showing the shape of her nose. I think that part highlight was there. I'm not sure this one was here. So I'm going to make it black there. And if it's already there, then it will just be re repeating itself. We go back here to, yeah, there's a lot to fill in there. I'm going to do about half and half here so I can see what I'm filling in. That needs to be filled in. That. And I need the shape of her lower lip because that's not in there at all. So let's keep the shape of her lower lip. There you go. And I'm going to darken it in here a little bit to give her more of a bottom lip. Now, if the lines are all straight, it really doesn't translate very well. So you can see this artistic way of that it took the pattern and changed it was to help the lines not be straight help it curve because the body of course is not straight it's curved all right let's see how that looks yeah we've got a lot of work to do here filling that in so I want to back off here to zoom out to show you a little bit of what I've done Yeah, this is definitely going to have to be fixed because it looks like Elvira right there with a line there. And I'm going to have to smooth out the tops of her um, strands of hair up here at the top. This down here all needs to be connected because it's floating and that will not um, cut properly. You can see the sleeve here looks pretty nice that way. Whoops, I'm McAfee on there. So I'm going to pause this and do some work and then come back. Okay. So I'm back here. You can see I've done quite a bit of work to the hair. And I don't think that I'm done. I need to do a little bit more work to make it look better. But um, this can be tedious, but can also help you develop your skills and make it a really nice pattern to cut out. And hopefully this will help you design your own the next time. So I will be showing one more video showing you the final photo and um, how I cut it out with the next video.